when we knew we kind of wouldn't be able to perform and we wouldn't be able to tour, you know, we were thinking, well, how does that, that, that's a real shame. If they can't perform before they go back to, before they go to school in September, then it's, it's over. It would be nice if we could come back together and, you know, go a little bit deeper in the time and we couldn't do it with 40 people on the stage so we, we figured that we could do 10 and but then we would only have three days with each group of 10 so it would be quite challenging it would have its own challenges When we first came up here and we were like, right, here we go, we're going to start rehearsing. It was kind of unreal. I was like, is this really happening? Am I just having a massive dream that's going on in my head? We are the ones who are like reopening Sadler's Wells. <laughs> and I normally just dance in my kitchen. Preparing for a performance in a global pandemic will be really tough and weird. The company is made up of 39 dancers. So we've been divided up into four groups. We're only rehearsing for like, three, three, four days. We've been split up into four bubbles and that is with nine or ten dancers in each bubble. They then have two company support team members and they will be um, the bubble and they will have one artist from Russell's company who will be in that bubble. Within the bubble they're allowed to be a metre distance from each other and then anyone outside of that bubble they have to stay two metres away um, or if they can't then they wear a mask. And it's weird because you can make work with no contact or touching, but when you're told no, it's really difficult like not to. It's been a hard, you know, to like adapt to dancing in your living room. And it, for me, it doesn't feel the same with like dancing in the studio with everyone. During lockdown, NYDC has been holding the Zoom calls. At first, they were a bit awkward, <laughs> but um, after like time went by, I started getting used to it and I loved it because Everyone, even though we weren't together, everyone was still dancing at the same time and it still made you feel like part of something. I'd say five months since I've last danced. The last residency was in February, so it's, you know, it's crazy how quickly it comes back and the feeling mentally and physically you feel, it's just such a, it's just such a pleasure to be back in this company. Um, Mark, just have a go in there so you get to feel what that's like. I feel sad that we couldn't see them all together because um, they're a fantastic um, team. As a group of ten, they're, you see them getting closer, you know, in another way, and that's, you know, that's also positive. But um, I kind of felt like I had to let go of the seeing what was originally envisaged and what we all kind of collectively were creating to begin with it was like okay well that we have to put that aside we can't go on with that so it's time to let that go and move into these other possibilities if someone asked me to make a, a, a full-length piece like an hour I would usually say okay well 16 weeks would be good maybe 12 if we're going fast this was four you know, that kind of allowed us to have something to draw on when we knew, okay, well, this is going to be even more short because you're going to miss the next half of the process and we're going to break it down into three days. So I was like, whoa, that's super fast. We're going to have to really go in hard and running. You know, actually, they did amazingly to, to take on all of those challenges of putting things together quickly and knowing that they've got to show it the day after tomorrow, you know, and you're trying to learn where you were on the stage and what steps you were doing and who you were hooking up with in that little bit there and then that bit there and the order of things and then know that you, you want to be performing it kind of at your closest to your best that you can. That's difficult for any dancer, that's difficult for a professional, you know, in, in that time frame. NYDC 
For me, I, I started with the first ever year of it with Yasmin Vardaman. Coming back for this project especially is very important for me because for the first project to be back to be about youth dance and continuing their um, excitement into the dance sector I think is massively important because a lot of that feels like it's going to be slowed down and there's going to be almost a gap perhaps and so it feels very important to be coming back in with the priority being on the younger generation still being involved in dance um, because a lot of us who are already out there dancing have had experiences and have had those moments whereas um, my worry is that some people will miss out on those moments and I don't want that to happen. Before the pandemic, I didn't know if I wanted to go down the academic route to a uni or to a conservatoire. I had places for both. I guess coming out of the pandemic, I'm going down academics. Um, so how much that was to do with the pandemic, I don't know. But it's a like real fear of like going into that world and that life. and. So it's definitely given me some kind of existential anxiety um, and some sort of like career anxiety. It feels amazing to actually, I don't know, to be able to give back and to be able to like finally be like, okay, feed back in. It's something I never thought would happen. Like I never even thought I'd perform on as well stage again, let alone come back and to be able to help out. Yeah, so you've got them. Yeah. And then try to go bit nerve-wracking to start with though just because it's like oh will I do it justice especially because you remember the people that like I remember the people that I worked with and I was like oh they were so so mature and how do you be inspirational but I think it's, it's not really something you can try to do you just kind of have to let things happen as they can. When I was like you know just starting off in dance and I was doing like oh Jesus E dance and stuff like that and um, we'd always write down like where all of the shows we were studying like premiered and everyone was like sell as well, sell as well, sell as well and now like it's here and it's just like a really um, massive moment but um, very exciting. Like amidst everything that's happening in the world not just with corona but I think um, to do with like Black Lives Matter and a lot of um, similar stuff that's been happening in the world. I feel like because that's happened during um, everyone's like self-reflection phase has definitely sparked um, a new kind of way of seeing things and a way of that I want to approach things. Instead of just dancing for the sake of dancing, I feel like I now, I've been gifted with this art form that other people who can't do it are interested in watching. I kind of have given myself a platform to then speak on issues and speak on topics that I think I would have never been kind of open to until I was able to have that reflection and realise like I've been given this for a reason. Very happy, very excited, and very proud, and very thankful. Yeah.